I got, is it rolling? Yeah. Am I pinging on audio? Yeah. You sure? You're setting me up? Yep. Am I pinging? Yep. Ping, ping. Yep. Bang, bang. Yep. Bang, bang. Yep. Ah. Yep. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we are at Hockey Gear in Sweden, which is one of the sickest stores we've ever been to, period. And what we're gonna be doing with CCM is getting scanned for a pair of custom skates. Not like these, these are Austin Matthews insane one-off custom skates. I'd love to be able to give you a little bit more information about them, but I don't think I'm allowed to. But in this video, me and Tommy are gonna to be getting fitted for a pair of AS5s. Um, we're going to be going through the entire process to let you know exactly what options you can pick when you're going custom, what the lead time is when you're getting them, so from getting scanned to actually getting the skates, how long does that take, and more importantly, how do they feel compared to retail skates? These are all videos that we're going to be kind of posting and giving you the feedback for as time goes on, but let's show you what the custom process looks like. Hi everyone, my name is Frederick. I'm the category manager for skates at CCM in Europe. Uh, today I'm going to show you and talk about the difference between Total Custom and Total Custom Plus skates that we offer. So the base with CCM Custom Skates is to really foot mold or personalize your one piece boot. So all the custom skates, no matter if it's Total Custom, Total Custom Plus, the skate will be molded after your foot. The difference between the Total Custom and the Total Custom Plus is that the Total Custom, which is the first step, you have less options. So the biggest thing, of course, is the foot mold. So you will get your personal foot mold, but then you cannot choose ankle foam. It's already in uh, and the liner, so that's, uh, that's fixed. What you can do is change the volume of the boot. Then you have three tongue options. You have a retail uh, thickness extra thickness and then a lightweight. You can add name number on your, uh, on your tongue. Also number in the back of the boot. Of course you can choose between step and step black. Uh, so basically that's your total custom skates. You have a bit fewer options but keep in mind the most important thing for custom skates is the foot mold. For your total custom plus skate Basically, you're building the, the skate from scratch. So we're starting with the one piece boot shell like this. Here you can do whatever you want. We can change facing, uh, volume, uh, no matter where uh, on the boot the facing options uh, should occur. You have the, uh, the liner, you have different liners, you have different foams. You can stiffen up the boot. You have uh, the choice of 11 tongues. You can choose the color of the tongue, you can choose the thickness, you can embroider name and number, you can oversize toe cap, you can of course also choose uh, your step steel of choice. Uh, and then also adjust the sizing of the holder if it's possible that it fits the size of the boot. So you, can, you have bigger options in, in uh, runner length and holder size. So that's basically the differences between Total Custom and Total Custom Plus. But keep in mind, all the, two, all the programs, you have the possibility to foot mold your custom CCM skate. So I want to highlight a few features that we can do and work with with the, with the one piece boot when you do your custom skate. Uh, and number one, you do your scan, you do your personal mold. You can combine that mold with a, uh, we call it game ready fit mold, so you get more wrap from the start. That's something that we, that we offer and you can always get it and you can always ask for it. Some players, they have different, different feet of course. Some guys end up with their ankle bones being too close to the eyelet row, meaning that we can adjust the volume and we can adjust the cut of the boot. So, a popular uh, spec is you, we increase the inside of the boot by a quarter of an inch, so in the entire boot. We leave the outside with the same spec option, but we, we skip the top three eyelets where we keep it in the, in the standard cut. So you will get some more wrap. We will place the ankle bone correctly in the ankle foam and the player will not have problems uh, with touching the, the eyelets. Uh, so you get kind of an asymmetrical shape where the inside get longer, gets longer than the outside. And you can actually choose yourself. So in your Total Custom Plus program, you can cut the boot 4 foot, 
top three eyelets or the entire boot, inside and outside. Uh, I show you the different uh, facing options that we can do. We can cut the boot in, in different heights. We can also adjust the height of the boot. So um, by saying that some guys want a, a higher boot and some guys want to keep the, 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 the regular height. So you have three options of adding height to your boot. So it's actually plus three millimeters, plus six millimeters and plus nine millimeters. So now uh, I did a scan for you. You told me earlier that you had a, like a pressure point uh, on your inside ankle bone. Yeah. So what I want you to do now, you can see on the screen, you have the, uh, your foot mold here. I want to highlight to the factory that they need to push out for your inside ankle bone. So if you put, put your right foot in front, I'm going to take a photo of your foot, like that. And then you can, you can follow on the screen. So what I do now is that I'm highlighting the, the critical area and then I right here push out extra but I will also explain that to the factory in the comment box in the end of your skate order. So this is just to highlight the, the problem of your foot in the, in the skate mold. And then I save and then. So now we have your foot scan, your foot mold the additional adjustment with your with your pressure point issue and just to be 100% clear so the the custom process is the one piece shell the one piece boot yeah. we have your foot mold we're going to place it we're going to mold it on your right foot we're going to add some extra material on your inside ankle bone yeah. so the inside ankle bone you get more space for your inside ankle bone in your foot mold Okay, yeah, it's not perfect. so this is step one, now we're gonna move on to, to actually build the skate. So now we have the shape uh, of your one piece boot. Um, so you told me you want the FT4 Pro Skate. Yeah. Uh, what number do you have? If you want to have the number in the back of your boot, you can, you can choose the number. Um, 86. 86? Yeah. And now you can actually, you can see it in the back of the skate, 86. You told me size seven and a half. Yeah, yeah. Both fit. Yeah. Uh, regular fit is where we're going to start, and then do the molding afterwards. You now have some options. We are going to do the three D scan fit, of course, because we're going to adjust the mold for you. What you can do is to add a two millimeter comfort foam across the boot. What's on the inside? Yeah. On the inside, the entire boot. It's you're not gonna like it's just a it's two millimeter it's extremely thin it's just you know adding some comfort to to your skate it's not gonna affect your mold skate will not be tighter it's just an option if you want to yeah if it's gonna make it comfier then yeah, yeah for sure I would I will take that one and now we have uh, we have taken a look so you you're, you fit into the boot you have some options where you can change the facing you can in increase the the volume decrease the volume. And also in specific areas, uh, okay. um, but, but with that we're fine for now. Yeah. Toe cap, we can oversize the toe cap, but that's nothing uh, I would do for you. Then we come to the boot. Uh, boot height. So in the custom factory, the skate is a bit different. There are different skate parts from the regular retail skate. So you have to increase the boot height by three millimeters to go to retail height. Okay. Then you can increase it by six millimeters or nine millimeters if you want the skate to be even higher. You have any preference <coughs> of, of height? I like movement like in my ankles when skating, so yeah. probably like normal is Yeah, retail skate is yeah. fine. Then I'm gonna do three millimeters because then you're at the retail uh, level. Now we can choose the interior. So for liner, you have the, uh, the black Nilex and then you have the Clarino. So you have two options. The Clarino you have in two colors, and then you have the Nilex is only black. So then the Nilex is more of a yeah. like a fabric, and Clarino is is this a little bit thicker. Um, keeps your your foot. You get a nice grip when it's wet. Yeah. And then you you have that one in two options. Do you have any preference for for liner? Oh uh, yeah, that one probably be better for me. Yeah. Yeah. Grippier the better. Clarino black. 
uh, ankle padding. Now we can choose regular ankle padding, like the retail foam. And now you have the possibility to increase the foam. So thicker foam, you can do add a donut. It's basically you're adding one of those donuts and it's going to be placed around your ankle foam or ankle bone like this in combination uh, with the with the regular foam yeah. and then you have the liner on top. Oh, okay. So I know we, we were looking before here, you have the donut option yeah. or you have the thick option which is a really nice memory foam uh, in combination with the regular uh, foam. So this is what we what we tried uh, before or you have the donut as an option. I think we'll just go with the thicker one. The thicker one? Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah, please. We do thick ankle padding. Then, you uh, do you want to put a lace lock on your skate or no? It's, a, it's an uh, old feature that, that was uh, possible in the past. Um, eyelet reinforcement for insole. I will always take orthomove, that's our insole where we can adjust the, um, the, uh, the arch uh, support. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't want it, you can take it out. Stiffness wise for your boot, do you, are you comfortable with your regular FT4 Pro or do you want to increase the stiffness? Uh, I think I want to increase it a little bit. So uh, you want the, the FT4 Pro to be a bit stiffer, yeah. so we increase the stiffness one level, so you're going to get a stiffer boot or stiffer skate. Next up is, is tongue selection. So we have a bunch of tongues. You have actually 11 different tongues to choose from. Wow. What you see on the screen now is the prefabricated um, tongues that we can't change. They are what they are. We can add name and number. Okay. And we also have the option of the uh, another eight where you can customize thickness, color, and then choose the uh, design of the uh, uh, lace bite protection. So, do you have any preference of tongues? We have all the tongue uh, samples available. You also have uh, the thickness of the felt uh, between the, the three. So you have a 10 millimeter, you have a seven millimeter, and then double felt is, is uh, a double one. I like that HD one. The third one in. The HD? Yeah. So we go HD. Uh, embroidered number 86 on the tongue, I guess. Yeah. Felt color, do you want black or white felt? Uh, black, please. Black? Yeah. Thickness, so you have 7 millimeter, 10 millimeter, or, or double felt. Oh, cool. 7 millimeter is the regular retail yeah. thickness. I've always had problems with my tongues, like when I block shots, and maybe okay. like, du like double felt. Double felt? Yeah. Embroidery color of the numbers on the tongue, 86. Uh, white's fine. Yeah, white's fine? Yeah. Okay. Good. Then we move to steel. I guess you, you have the options here. Uh, probably you want the, the, the black steel. Yeah. A lot of guys choose the black steel. Uh, and then runner size. Um, you have the possibility to engrave your runner. So you can put your name on the runner. Uh, so it's going to be engraved in, in the front of the runner. Uh, yeah. So now you can actually see oh, yeah, the uh, cool. engraving on the, on the runner. So it's going to be in the front of the runner. Great. Lacing, cotton lace or waxed lace? Uh, waxed. Waxed. Yeah. Now we are, uh, you can write uh, uh, your team name. Thank you. And then he put one. So this is kind of a summary page. So in the comment box, I'm gonna one more time highlight to the factory that we're gonna adjust your mold and push out extra for your inside ankle bone on the right foot. So I'm gonna write here, just to give the factory some uh, additional info. Uh, for your tongue, do you want a stitch tongue or do you want to use the excess tongue system? Um, 
What's, what's the what's the difference between the two? From the, the excess tank system is yeah. where you have the um, the quick release system, so you have the two dots, oh, you can uh, yeah, take it out. Otherwise, you can get a stitch tongue, then it's stuck <coughs> in the skate. Now, can I get the, the, the switch out one? Yeah. Now we have your recipe of your scans. We're pretty much done. You start from the top, so we're gonna enter address and, and stuff. But the important thing here the 3D scan push out extra for your ankle bone. Then you have your name, uh, position, doesn't matter for the skate. Yet Speed FT4 Pro, boot number, and you can see all the specs that we have chosen here. Uh, Clarino black, thick ankle pads. Uh, we just added some extra comfort in the boot with the two millimeter foam in the entire boot. Uh, you have the tongue selection, or and also the stiffness of the skate. So we added a, a stiffer skate overall. Uh, tongue design HD, black felt, double felt thickness, 86 embroidered in white on the tongue. Step black, size of the runner. Uh, your name uh, on the uh, on the engraving on the yeah. runner, backslace, and then you can see your photo, and then just the overall build up of the skate. So now I'm gonna do. Uh, I can press send order, but I'm gonna add some additional info, so I won't do that now. But we'll do it in a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. So all good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. As always, guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Please make sure that you thumbs up if you like these types of videos. All of the social media handles and also links for the store that we're in, the people that we're filming with are all going to be down below in the video description for Hockey Gear and also, of course, CCM. Make sure that you are following us on our social media handles, also on Instagram, link down below, and make sure that you thumbs up and also subscribe. Take care, guys.